hello and welcome to the video about graphing linear equations today we will learn how to graph linear equations with two different ways but before we begin let me tell you how linear equations are written in which form they are written y is equal to mx plus b linear equations are written in the form of y equals mx plus b where m stands for slope or we can also call it gradient and b stands for y intercept y intercept you will know the meaning of these two once we will start plotting uh, the linear equations for slope we have done a video before if you have seen it you will be knowing about slope or if you haven't seen it you can click on the right top corner of this of the video you will find the video about slope of a line or gradient so let's continue let's draw the graph by using our first method which is by using the table let's say the equation is given to you y equals 3x plus 2 okay so how we do it by doing a, by making a table let's do a table first okay x coordinate and y coordinate okay and we assume our x coordinate to be negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 you can always choose these points these coordinates and find the y coordinate for for all of these coordinates one by one what we will do now in place of x we will substitute each of the value one by one and whatever whatever we will get for y which this will come in the in the space below so let's see the first one so 3x means 3 times x so in place of x i now substitute this one minus 2 3 times minus 2 plus 2 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 2 negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 so this one is negative 4 now let's do the same thing with with negative 1 so 3 times negative 1 plus 2 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 let's do the same thing with 0 now so 3 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. Let's do the same thing with 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. And the last one with 2. 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. Now see we got our table full and from these we can figure out that first coordinate is negative 2 and negative 4 second one is negative 1 and negative 1 then we have 0 and negative 0 and positive 2 then we have 1 and 5 and in the end we have 2 and 8 we can plot all these points on the graph and join them together to form our line let's see so let's plot our first point now which is negative 2 and negative 4 so we'll go, go on negative 2 of x and negative 4 of y which is here second one is negative 1 and negative 1 so negative 1 and negative 1 then we have 0 and 2 so 0 and 2 and then we have 1 and 5, so 1 and 5. And the last one is 2, 8, 2, 8. And then we will join all these points together to form our line. Here we go. This is our line. We plot it. Okay. So let's write here the equation one more time. The equation was y equal... 3x plus 2 as I told you the second one is y intercept 
our y-intercept is positive 2. So you can see that our line is actually crossing through positive 2, which means our line is exactly right, what we are looking for. And as you, as you know from before that this one, which is 3, is gradient or slope of a line. So we have to check that, is it is it actually 3? So let's see. So let me take two points, two exact points, which are going through the squares. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, over 1. Gradient is rise over run. Gradient is rise over run. Here, which is 3 over 1. Yes, it is 3. So this line is right. Okay. Now let's plot the same line without the table. So here we go. We have our equation y equals 3x plus 2. Uh, we already know that positive 2 is y-intercept. So we got our one point easily. So positive 2 is our y-intercept. Now we have to use gradient 3. It's positive 3. It's positive 3. So we'll go 3 steps up and one step right okay so whenever it's just a single number it's always three over one okay remember so it's three up and one right what will happen if the if the gradient is negative if the gradient is negative it will go up and left but this time it's positive so we'll go up and right okay so let's go from here one two three steps up and one step right that's our second point and now we will join these two points and we'll form our line let's see so we got the same line again okay so there are two different ways to to graph the linear equations one way is with the table another way is find the y-intercept and use the gradient to plot your line let's do one more example so here the equation says y is equal to 2x minus 3. So we know that y-intercept is negative 3. So we have to go to uh, negative 3 of y from where the line will cross. That's the point. So that's our first point. Now we will use our gradient. Gradient is 2. It means it's 2 over 1. It means it will go 2 steps up and 1 step right. Okay. So two steps up one and two and one right that's our second point two steps up and one right that's our second point now let's let's join these two points here we go that's the line which we are looking for let's do one more example with a negative slope or negative gradient okay so this equation says y is equal to negative 3x plus 1 now we can see that gradient is negative and y intercept is 1 so we'll go to 1 on y axis that's 1 that's our first point and now we have to go negative 3 of slope so negative 3 means negative 3 over 1 so it's it's going to be three steps up and one step left not right left whenever it's negative we go left not right so 1 two three and one left here we go so these are our two points which we will join and form our line so this is our line i hope this video is of help to you if you want me to solve any other type of equation let me know in the comments share and subscribe to support our channel and have a nice day